the general development index gdi so it measures inequality and in achievement of three basic dimensions again three basic dimensions health education command or economic resource what is their command how far they can wield the power on economics how far can they determine how to spend their money spend means income is also a matter of how far they have good income how far they could spend okay so health education and again command or economic resources more or less similar to hdi health education and uh, gni per capita that was in hdi here command or economic resources okay so gdi is equal to hdi female by hdi male basically just like we consider sex ratio number of females to males this is x ratio similar to that gender development index gdi means hdi female by hdi male hdi female divided by hdi male gives gender development index or gdi gender human development index gdi okay so this is the how the gender development index is actually calculated here look at this we have female hdi we have male hdi female hdi based on life expectancy of women here female hdi means life expectancy of women is calculated expected years of schooling of women is calculated mean years of schooling of women is calculated because all these are actually not same as that of men in society paper you will actually learn this or you might have learned this it is not the same way women or men are looked upon as in society male uh, son meta preference son meta preference is actually a problem more preference is gone given to uh, bearing a male child a boy child is more expected than a girl child more nutritious food is being given to male child health and sanitation availability to male is more okay cultural hindrances to life early child marriage cultural beliefs religious beliefs child marriage is actually hindering more women early child bearing lack of awareness or lack of education or lack of decision making power in the context of child bearing wealth education and everything it is cultural economic and social these are all hindrances to women so the life expectancy of women is different from that of men the demand of health is demand of health facilities different to that of men sanitation and toilet it is a very important aspect for women and if you read very every more in every year some news article will be there like lack of sanitation facilities is actually a very grave health concern to women okay in india there are there are there are women who actually use mud or uh, wooden leaves uh, mud or leaves instead of sanitary pads there are actually women in india these are all creating grave health concerns in india now we are actually talking about what menstrual cups and all in the context of menstruation but there are still people who are still using mud and leaves and all that is actually creating a grave health concern sanitation facilities water everything is actually impacting the lives it doesn't mean that these are not impacting expect menstruation these are not it doesn't mean that these are not impacting men yes but the scale is actually higher for women okay cultural hindrances uh, what uh, sun meta preference these are all favoring men social barriers are higher for women in the context of social and economic progress so that means their life expectancy their expectations of schooling mean years of schooling per capita also is a problem in india when we talk about migration migration is actually a very uh, important aspect of economic geography migration in migration uh, if you look at rural areas in rural areas the largest chunk of migration happens for males the reason is due to economic reasons most of the males are traveling from rural areas to urban areas for better economic facilities better jobs better wages better quality of life but in the context of women the majority of migration is happening within the rural area they are actually moving from a rural area to a rural area simply because of marital alliances they are getting married to some other place 
simply because of marriages it is actually higher than the number of migrations intra state migrations happening in the seek of job by men so economic cause of migration is lesser than marital cause of migration look at the impact on having uh, on the social progress of a single individual and look at the impact that on a large mass of women this is actually a serious concern okay that is actually hindering the economic power of women as well earnings household income sorry household work whether our mothers or sister mothers or wives or sisters or something are they paid for the household work they do no recently i think uh, i don't know who actually opined on that like that has to be accounted in kerala there was actually a um in the year before this year there was actually a, in the budget or something there was actually a plan to account or take economically measure what is the economic status of household workers or uh, homemakers women how they are actually contributing to the economy without being be get paid some other scientists or economic scientists was also actually mentioning about this how the underpaid job of homemakers is actually contributing a lot to the economy but it is still being unaccounted okay and similarly this is measured in the context of meals life expectancy expected years of schooling mean years of schooling gender per capita and we get human development index female we have human development index female divided by hdi male that give you gender development index so these are the parameters